So, a letter to God by G. I. Funtus is a beautiful story. This is the story of Lencho and his faith in God. Lencho is a farmer who writes a letter to God when his crops are ruined, asking for a hundred pesos. Does Lencho's letter reach God? Does God send him the money? Let us begin to read the story. Lencho lived on the top of a hill. It was the only house in the valley. He grew corn. The corn that he grew needed some rain. Lencho sat looking at the sky throughout the day, anticipating rain. When they are eating their food, big drops of rain began to fall. He was happy that it rained and he went out of the house to feel the rain on his body. But suddenly, a strong wind began to blow along with a very large hailstone began to fall. It was getting bad. He hoped that rain would pass quickly, but it did not happen. It rained for an hour heavily and the corn crop was totally destroyed. Lencho's soul was filled with sadness. That night was a sorrowful one for him. But there was a single hope that was help from God. All through the night he thought of the only hope, the help from God. The following Sunday, he began to write a letter to God asking some help. He wrote, God, if you don't help me, my family and I go hungry this year. I need a hundred pesos in order to sow my field again, he wrote. He wrote to God on the envelope at the post office. He placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox. The postmaster broke out laughing. But almost immediately, he turned serious and tapped the letter on his desk, commented, What faith? I wish I had the faith of the man who wrote this letter, he said. So, in order not to shake the writer's faith in God, the postmaster came up with an idea, answered the letter. But when he opened it, it was evident that to answer it, he needed something more than goodwill, ink and paper. That is, he needed money. He asked for money from his employees. He himself gave part of his salary and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity. It was impossible for him to gather together the hundred pieces, so he was able to send the farmer only a little more than half. The following Sunday, Lancho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him. It was the postman himself who opened or handed the letter to him. Lancho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money. Such was his confidence. But he became angry when he counted the money. God could not have made a mistake, nor could he have denied Lencho what he had requested. Immediately, he wrote another letter to God and posted it. The moment the letter fell into the mailbox, the postmaster went to open it. It said, God, of the money that I asked for, only 70 pesos reached me. Send me the rest since I need it very much. But don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks. Lencho, he wrote. This is the end of the story. Thank you for listening.